China's debt crisis is exacerbated by the Belt and Road Initiative, with a significant portion of investments going into energy projects, particularly in countries rich in natural resources. However, many of these countries are now facing credit risks, leading to distress in loans, with China having to handle numerous debt restructurings. The Belt and Road Initiative takes inspiration from the ancient Silk Road, a historical trade route that facilitated cultural exchange and economic cooperation between China and the Western world for centuries. Today's BRI aims to build upon this legacy by investing in massive infrastructure projects such as railways, roads, ports, and energy facilities across 68 countries. The initiative consists of two main components, the Silk Road Economic Belt, which focuses on creating land-based corridors connecting China to Europe, and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, which seeks to establish maritime trade routes connecting China to Southeast Asia, Africa, and Europe. By fostering economic partnerships and promoting trade, China aims to play a leading role in shaping the global economic landscape. While the name Belt and Road Initiative might evoke images of vast road and rail networks, it's crucial to recognize that a significant portion of China's investments has been directed toward the energy sector. Energy products, such as oil, natural gas, and other resources, have consistently represented the largest share of China's investments under the BRI. In the early years of the initiative, energy products accounted for more than 50% of China's investments. Although the percentage has decreased somewhat over time, it remains substantial, with energy products still representing over 40% of all investments in 2020. This focus on energy reflects China's growing demand for resources to fuel its rapidly expanding economy and sustain its development. Numerous countries have benefited from Chinese investments under the Belt and Road Initiative. Notable examples include Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Cambodia, Pakistan, Kenya, and Greece, among others. These countries have received substantial funding for various infrastructure projects aimed at bolstering their economic development. The investments have predominantly been channeled into energy projects, followed by transport infrastructure and commodity metals. Additionally, China has made notable investments in real estate development, with Chinese contractors and workers actively involved in constructing new properties worldwide. However, a noteworthy observation is that many of the countries receiving significant funding are not necessarily the poorest nations in need of infrastructure development. Instead, China has strategically invested in resource-rich countries and those with relatively advanced economies. This approach suggests that China is seeking more than just infrastructure development. It's also looking to secure access to vital resources for its own economic growth and energy security. With such massive investments across various countries, China faces inherent risks related to credit and debt. The creditworthiness of many nations involved in the BRI has been deteriorating, making the loans increasingly risky. The credit risk for Chinese lending to emerging and developing countries is now hovering around the B to B rating, just above non-investment grade. This means there's a significant risk that some of these loans may not be repaid in full or on time. As a consequence, China has already experienced debt restructuring and defaults. By 2020, approximately 40% of all Chinese loans to developing countries were in distress. This percentage has since risen to nearly 60% by the start of 2022, indicating that more countries are facing challenges in repaying their debts to China. Saudi Arabia, known for its vast oil reserves, has attracted significant Chinese investments. In the first half of 2022, China agreed to invest around $5.5 billion in various projects in Saudi Arabia. These investments are likely geared towards securing access to crucial energy resources and fostering economic cooperation between the two nations. Similarly, China has turned its attention to Iraq, another oil-rich country in the Middle East. In 2021, China signed contracts worth $10.5 billion with Iraq, making it the single largest beneficiary of Belt and Road investments during that period. These investments are likely aimed at tapping into Iraq's substantial oil reserves and enhancing economic ties between China and the country. This highlights the complex and evolving nature of the Belt and Road Initiative and how China's engagement with different countries can fluctuate over time. As the global landscape continues to evolve, 
It remains to be seen how China's investments and partnerships under the BRI will further evolve in the coming years. Recent geopolitical events, such as the Ukraine-Russia conflict, have further complicated the situation for China's Belt and Road Initiative. China's exposure to Russia is substantial, with over $300 billion invested in the country for energy and infrastructure projects. However, with Russia's credit risk on the rise due to the conflict and other factors, China faces heightened risks with these investments. As Russia's financial stability is increasingly uncertain, it raises questions about the potential losses China might incur. The Belt and Road Initiative has undoubtedly been a monumental undertaking, reshaping global infrastructure and economic dynamics. However, it's also fraught with challenges and risks. China must navigate its way through restructuring distressed loans, making difficult decisions about further investments, and balancing its economic interests with geopolitical realities. At the same time, China's own economic health is crucial as it grapples with domestic challenges. One of the major challenges China faces is ensuring the sustainability and economic viability of the projects it has invested in. Many of these initiatives require significant capital and take time to generate returns. The uncertainty surrounding some countries' economic situations and their ability to repay loans poses a substantial risk for China's long-term financial stability. Indeed, the total exposure of China's loans through the Belt and Road Initiative (BRI) has reached a staggering figure of around $1.3 trillion. This immense amount reflects the scale and ambition of the initiative, as China sought to finance and develop large-scale infrastructure projects across numerous countries. Additionally, geopolitical tensions and changes in global economic dynamics could impact the success of the Belt and Road Initiative. Countries involved in the BRI may reassess their positions and priorities in light of shifting geopolitical relationships, which could influence the project's trajectory. In conclusion, China's Belt and Road Initiative is a game-changing project that promises extensive economic cooperation and infrastructure development. However, it's not without its challenges and risks. As China continues to navigate the complexities of the initiative, it must remain vigilant and adaptable to changing global dynamics. This ambitious project has reshaped global infrastructure development and economic dynamics. However, with a significant percentage of loans in distress, China faces complex challenges that require careful management and strategic planning to ensure the initiative's success in the long run. The world will be closely watching how China manages these risks and adapts its strategy in the face of new challenges. As the BRI continues to unfold, it will undoubtedly shape the future of global infrastructure development and economic cooperation.